Joined now by Minnesota quarterback Marquise Gray. And Marquise, before we get into the on the field stuff this spring, your team obviously had a real tragedy with the passing of your former teammate, Gary Tinsley. How will you look to carry forward his legacy? Uh, you know, we just got to come to work every day ready to go go hard, go go full speed as, as something that he would do and just, just cherish the moment and know that he's in a better place and uh, not look at it as a, as, a, as a negative thing, just look at it as a positive thing. What kind of guidance has Coach Kill and have the rest of the staff given you on that front? Uh, they, they've just been telling us to stay together. You know, uh, we're a family, we're a team, and, and we're brothers, and we lost one of our brothers. So the best thing to do is just stick together in a time of adversity and just, just overcome it. As for Coach Kill, as we do turn the page to football right now, this obviously his second year on the staff. How have things changed from year one with him as a head coach to year two? Uh, it's, it's a lot more uh, of a personal relationship that we have now. And this is this is my first year that I've been in college to have the same coaching staff going into spring ball, and and it helped out a great deal uh, f throughout this team. And we just just feel that we we bond together. And Coach Kill, he he's been doing a great job of keeping us together. Like I said, with the passing of uh, Gary Tinsley, and we've just been moving forward and getting ready for the upcoming season. One of the issues for you guys last year on the offensive side was the running back spot, never completely able to establish that running game. As you've watched that group from your unique vantage point this spring, what have you seen? Uh, we have some young guys, young guys and they, they are very, they're very talented at the running back position. Uh, we've got some, some big physical guys that's going to be able to get that, that fourth and one just in case we go, go for it. And I believe that they're going to help us out this year, and that's going to be one of the, the, the positions to watch for this year. Anyone in particular who stood out to you? Uh, James Gilliam, uh, in, incoming transfer from JUCO, he's been doing a great job for us. Uh, Donnell Kirkwood and David Cobb, all three of those guys are big, powerful backs, and they've been doing what they needed to do to help us move the ball. For you personally, accuracy was a little bit of an issue last year, right around 50%. What have you worked on to improve in that area? Uh, the biggest thing for, I, I say, my accuracy was just developing timing with the receivers uh, through the offseason. I know it's only the, we only had the winter offseason so far and spring ball, but I feel like every day we stepped on the field, we've gotten better as a, as a whole unit, not just some quarterback and receivers. But uh, my main thing is just getting the timing down with our receivers. You lost a great one in Dejan McKnight. Who fills that void? Uh, we got to have some guys step up. You know, uh, Brandon Green is the senior leader in that room, and he's been making plays for us. Victor Keys, Malcolm Moulton, all those guys have been doing a great job. And uh, uh, Isaac, he, he also also has been doing making plays for his offense. So it's kind of hard to point out one guy in particular, but all those all those guys of the above have been doing a great job. So it all wraps up on Saturday with the spring game. What should the fans watch for? Uh, just watch. Watch for us to be able to make a lot more plays. And once we get in the red zone to finish and not leave with a field goal, I know our kicker's going to be mad. But uh, this year we're for, for, uh, focusing on finishing with the touchdown instead of three points. You're trying to put the kicker out of business, huh? I mean, anything to help, help <laughs> us get that extended lead. <laughs> Relegate him to extra points. Good stuff. Really appreciate your time. Marquise Gray, Minnesota quarterback. Thanks, Marquise. Thanks for having me.